The original value of a car is $24,000. It depreciates 15% annually. What is its value in four years? Yes, let's model this problem with an exponential function. I know it's exponential because we have a decay rate of 15% annually. Our equation, our general format of an equation of an exponential function is A, our starting value, times B, our base, to the T, our time power, and that's what we're going to use to get our value, our, our ending value of the car. So our value based on T number of years is going to be equivalent to our starting value, $24,000 times our base to the T power. To get the base, we have to add or subtract the rate from one. We know that multiplying by uh, one wouldn't change the value of the car. Multiplying by a number greater than one would grow the value of the car. Multiplying by a number less than one would decrease the value of the car. So because we are depreciating, we are going to change 15% to a decimal and subtract that value from one to get our base. So one minus 0 0.15 is 0.85. So our base here is 0 0.85. So our starting value is 24,000 and our base is 0 0.85 and we got that by subtracting our rate as a decimal from one. If we wanted to answer the question, what is its value in four years? Four represents time, years represents time, so we would substitute four for t. So four, uh, v of four is equal to 24,000 times 0.85 to the fourth power. And when we do 0.85 to the fourth power first, then take that answer and multiply by 24,000, we get 12,528 dollars and 15 cents. So that's modeling with an exponential function. Let's take that same problem and, and ask a different question. The original value of a car is 24,000. It depreciates 15% annually. How many years until the value is $2,000? So here, they're asking me for T when we know the value is equal to $2,000. So in our equation, value of time is 24,000 times 0.85 to the t power, we're going to substitute 2,000 as our ending value and solve for t. We've learned a new inverse operation that allows us to solve and get a variable out of the exponent. We'll eventually use logs here, but before we can use log, we have to get the base to the t power by itself. Since that's being multiplied by 24,000, I can start off by dividing both sides by 24,000. 2,000 divided by 24,000 is 1 twelfth, or 0 0.083 repeating, equals 0.85 to the t power. My next step is to take the log of both sides. When I do that, my exponent comes in front, t log of 0 0.85 is equal to log of 0 0.083 repeating. And then I have one more step to get t by itself. Since t is out front being multiplied by the log of 0 0.85, I can divide both sides by log of 0 0.85 and that will give me my value for t. I'll want to use a calculator 
to do my computation. If I use a calculator here, I want to start off with or log of 0 0.83. If you're using the iPhone, you put the number in first and then you hit log. For this online calculator, you hit log and then you put 0 0.083 and it was repeating. So the more decimal places I use, the more precise it'll be. All right, that is that value that's being divided by log of 0.85 and I get 15.2. So it's going to take 15 more than 15 years for it to reach a value of $2,000.